Uh, my name's uh, Colonel Dr. Adari. I'm an orthopedic surgeon based at uh, Professor Nelson Awori Building, which is next to Nairobi Hospital in Upper Hyderia, Nairobi. I am a surgeon who's uh, leaning it towards what you call joint diseases. That's what I do literally every day I wake up and I come to my office. I'll have a number of patients who have got one joint problem or the other. But we are all a creation of a necessity. So one time uh, while I was taking care of my patients because I use a system that I learned some seven years ago that has to do with what we call regenerative medicine in which we use a, a human platelet cells, that's cells from a patient, to stimulate other cells in our body that have got a problem, for example in the joints where we have cartilage wear. There are stages of that cartilage wear which you can be able to manage using platelets, patients own platelets. The science behind it is quite interesting and it's something we can discuss uh, one on one to give you how it works in the body. But aside from that, one of my patients walked in whom I had managed because this same treatment can be applied on the back because the back is essentially uh, little, little bones that have got joints among, uh, joints between them, but as a, a whole entity then we call it the vertebral column because it runs as one. In other words, when you bend, you bend your whole back. And when you twist to the side, it's your whole back that moves. However, we have smaller joints within that back, technically called facetal joints, which are just as joints similar to those other joints we have in the other parts of the boat we call the sign of your joint. All these are also prone to wear and tear based on repeated trauma where when you talk of repeated trauma we're saying use. You use a joint and it wears out. That's why even as much as we say joints ought to go with us all the way to our old age, what we see is at a certain time in life our joints begin to wear out and to give in and that's what we ordinarily call osteoarthritis. So coming back to a patient who I've been taking care of, who had presented with back problem, um, on my assessment of the patient, I did realize that whereas she came in with a problem of pain at the back of her thigh, the whole issue emanated from the back. So having done the clinical evaluation, uh, which was complemented by an MRI scan, we came to a conclusion that this lady had um, a discogenic back pain. Discogenic back pain refers to that back pain which is caused by virtue of a disc that is protruding or bulging behind and contacting the nerve that is passing or a nerve that is passing right next to it. And by so giving that pressure, that nerve may signal the problem where it is applying. In our case, it was in the back of the thigh. One of my patients while visiting, and I had managed to take care of him, his back using this technique of PRP, which is basically the cell treatment, prompted me and asked me, Dr. Dari, have you ever looked at uh, this other procedure which I've come across called PLDD? PLDD refers to technically percutaneous, which means through the skin, laser disc decompression. And I said, well, in my reading, I've just come across it, but I never paid much attention. And I said, we went into the internet and opened and then found this doctor in Austria who was having a large series of PLDDs. So I got interested because I said, at the end of the day, why do we sit in these offices as doctors? Because we want relief pain. So if this can add to my armamentarium of managing pain, why not? So I developed an interest in PLDD. It's a simple technique. It's a what we call daycare procedure or at most one night in the hospital. And basically you use needles, special needles that are able to reach the disc which is protruding and then passing a laser fiber or a wire with its specific calibrations 
to reduce because as we look at the disc, the disc is something similar to what I'm carrying in my hand here. It's got a tough peripheral or if you like it, the tough edges, but the center is something jelly-like containing a bit of water and that gives you that property of shock absorption because it means there is a disc on top, I'm sorry, there's a vertebral bone on top, another vertebral bone beneath and in between you have a, a soft material which when there's any kind of pressure then dissipates this energy and that's the function of the disc among other things. So if the disc is bulging and you'll have read this from many of the MRI reports or any time you've been seen by a doctor then it means whereas initially the relationship was this way bone on top disc in between another bone and the all flash time has come and now this disc is bulging and that is the kind of relationship let's assume for purposes of this discussion this was a nerve and the nerve is running down here because of the disc bulge then there's that push So it means a nerve that comes in must wind its way before it exits. Now that pressure can be so significant that a patient comes in with certain kind of symptoms. Among them pain, sometimes numbness, sometimes altered sensations, uh, pins and needles and so forth. So suffice to say that uh, when you have made this decision, that this patient may benefit from PLDD, which is the abbreviation of percutaneous laser disc compression, then we advise the patient that we need to go to a hospital setup where we have a machine that is able to guide us where the disc is. So it's more or less like a real time. Then go in with the needle, just under local anesthetic or slight sedation for the comfort of the patient. Then, the next thing is, once you get into that disc, you do a confirmation by pass, injecting some dye contrast, something that will be picked on x-ray and you'll see a dark line in the center, which confirms you indeed you're within the disc. The next thing is passing that laser fiber or the wire, which will come out like the tip of a pen. And the intention is reduce slightly the amount of water in that disc at the center. By so doing, you are creating a cavity or so to speak, a negative pressure area. The body abhors any vacuum. So the next thing we see is the attempt to cover that vacuum. And by so doing, the disc shrinks back. And this nerve that was under pressure gets relieved. So this is basically the concept of PLDD. Like any treatment, it has its own indications. Like any treatment, it has this number of patients who some will get a great benefit, others will not. But as we say, and we normally joke among ourselves that medicine is one of the most inexact sciences. So most of it is based on observation. You see how patients have responded. But suffice to mention again that this treatment has been there since the, nine, since the 80s. However, its popularity is just growing more and more as we see more patients. And I'm happy that I've been able to see a growing number of patients who benefit from PLDD, and I'm happy to practice it.